Hey guys, Mark here, and this is Big Balls Marketing. Okay guys, in today's podcast, video cast, vlog, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to talk about you being a slave to your job. Are you a slave to your job? And I'm going to throw out some numbers here that I think are pretty interesting. I uh, just did my, you know, five second research before I started this podcast. And I really want to talk about some specific numbers. Did you know that if you're working an average of 40 hours a week, do you realize how many weeks in your lifetime that you're away from the house just working? It's over 1,700 hours. As a matter of fact, it's 1,730 weeks in your lifetime. And so if you're not doing something that you like, do you think that's time well spent? Okay, and I understand that we have to pay bills. And I'm not here to, to rag on a job. I don't think jobs are necessarily bad. But if you have certain types of goals, uh, the job's probably not going to get you there. And the reason why is because when you have a job, you cannot leverage any of your time. You really can't leverage any employees or any recruits or there's there's not a lot to leverage there you're not able to leverage any money so it's kind of an uphill battle to realize your dreams and you know if we add another 10 hours a week if, if people are working 50 hours a week you're working over 1800 weeks out of your life out of your lifetime during a lifetime of work on average now, I know some do more, some do less, but this is really something that you need to consider. And we're not even talking about, you know, the the time spent away from uh, your home and your loved ones and whatnot in the commute or whatever. And let's talk about the commute. How many of you people really like to sit in bumper to bumper traffic? How much gas are you spending? You know, how much money are you spending on gas? How much money are you spending on clothes? How much money are you spending on lunches away from the house? You know, there's just a ton of things that you need to think about whenever you're, you're looking at a job and you're looking at your life and you're looking at financial matters because there's a lot of things out there that you need to think about. And I, I think it's really funny I watched a video today by Gary Vaynerchuk, Vernachek, I, I can never say his name right, um, darn Russians. Anyway, uh, the guy is incredible, obviously. If you've not ever listened to Gary, uh, I'm going to post this one video uh, underneath this uh, link here for you that are watching this video. Uh, if you're looking at the podcast, you can go to my blog at uh, EliteMarketingSystems.org check out this podcast and uh you know and others but also i will provide a link there to gary's video and he was really talking about some just some um some really interesting things some fascinating things uh and you know he's basically talking about you know how people have to drive this car that has a certain emblem on it so that they can impress people that they hate um and you know people just don't realize how much money they spend on and stupid stuff and um, to impress other people you know uh, typically whenever you live in a house you're living in about 30 percent of it or 50 percent at most you know a lot of people have extra rooms um, and you know if you have a guest bedroom I understand that or if you have an office I understand that but where do you spend your time at home typically the living area or is it the dining room if you have a formal dining room how often are you using that and it really just goes down to how much money are you spending on things that you don't really need and what the trap is how we've gotten trapped into all this uh, basically is this whole idea of this american dream or this ideal american setting or uh, and I'm not, I, you know, I don't know how it is in other countries, but I know that the advertising is very similar. Um, and there's this idea in society that you have to have certain things. You have to have all these things to be happy. 
the problem is when you get that money, when you do earn a, an excellent income and you get to that point where you, you've always imagined how great it's going to be, you realize, uh, you know, that's not the key to happiness. You realize that happiness is something different. Freedom is something different. Uh, a lot of people have, uh, you know, always talked to me about, you know, man, you're always about money. You're always, you're always talking about making this, this amount of money and, uh, you know, money will do this, money will do that. Um, let me be very clear, okay? I'm not interested in a lot of money per se. I'm interested in experiences. I'm interested in doing certain things with my life. I've accomplished a lot of things and I've done a lot of things. Uh, and I've got a lot more things to go. Uh, it's kind of a lifetime bucket list type of deal for me. And in our today's modern society, you do have to have money to be able to, to attain uh, some of those experiences and um, to live the life of freedom that I think is, um, is very, uh, a very worthy goal. And when I talk about freedom, I'm talking about freedom away from debt. I'm talking about freedom away from you know, having the time that I want to be able to do the things that I want. And so those are my goals. That uh, the whole point of me generating an income and, and generating uh, or creating wealth has to do with uh, attaining that, that freedom, that level of freedom. But what is it for you? You know, what is it that you're looking to do? And I think it's really important that we take stock of our lives and we take stock of things and try and figure out what it is exactly that we're trying that we're busting our butt to to try and accomplish i mean if you're gonna if you're looking to go out there and be you know find happiness and you think that you're going to do it through your corporate job or you think you're going to do it when you make a lot of money or whatever you're missing the boat now that's not to say you know if you have a passion for something and and that's what you're doing uh, maybe that's what you want to do. Maybe, maybe that is your deal. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, so I don't want to put that down. And it's like I said, I don't want to put down a job uh, because you may be doing something that you, you love. But about, I think it's somewhere around 70% of the workforce population in this country, in the United States, are dissatisfied with their jobs. They're dissatisfied with their lifestyles. Uh, it's not what they thought it was going to be. And one of the things, you know, people talk about millennials all the time. Oh, they don't want to go out and work and they don't want to do this and they don't want to do that. Well, have you ever thought that maybe they figured something out? Maybe they've realized that having a corporate job and making a lot of money isn't really where it's at. Maybe they're, uh, you know, in some cases, maybe they're just a little wiser than, than some of the rest of us. Now, I don't want to say that and, and say that I'm against a strong work ethic or I'm against work. I like work. I enjoy uh, doing what I do online. This is my passion. This is something that, uh, for me, I can sit down at uh, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning and I can be doing this until midnight and it just it's just fun for me. I enjoy it. But... You know, if if I want to get up and go somewhere, then I want to be able to get up and go somewhere. If I want to do something different, I want to be able to go and do something different. You know, my perfect day isn't necessarily your perfect day. Maybe you want to hang out at the beach all day. And that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's another thing. You know, we sit here and we judge a lot of these things. But, you know, have you ever just thought about the things that you, you have to do for work? You know, the suits that you buy or the, the dresses that you buy or the, you know, the different accessories and, you know, the, you know, like I said, the car that you're driving, are you driving something that's very economical and affordable or are you, or are you uh, really struggling paycheck to paycheck to pay for this, this awesome, you know, name brand or big brand uh, expensive brand uh, car uh, to impress other people or to make yourself feel better about yourself you know if you're afraid of a little ridicule 
If you're afraid of looking silly in a in an older vehicle or um, whatever it may be, you know, a smaller home in a you know not uh, not a, a gated community, you know, if that's something that bothers you, uh, then I would suggest that it's probably not the home that you need to look at. It's really probably between your ears, but. Um, and, and, you know, right now, you know, with the Elite Marketing Systems Group, I mean, we're promoting this course, we're promoting this training and course um, that costs $11.50 a month, okay? And for a basic membership, eleven fifty a month. And as soon as you refer one other person to it, you're going to generate $10. So it... it then it goes down to 150 a month and and I'm, I'm telling you this is the easiest thing that i've ever promoted this program and people people aren't jumping to this i don't i really don't get it i don't understand it all of course it may be my fault i may not be marketing as effectively and efficiently as i think i am and so there's that issue um, so I'm going to be intellectually honest here and I'm going to have to say that, but look guys, you don't have to have a, a big ticket program to make a lot of money. You don't have to have the hottest MLM to make a lot of money online. You just have to do certain things step by step by step and do them consistently over and over and over again. And you'll find that success. Until you quit, you're in the game. Once you quit, you're done. That is the ultimate failure. But back to this idea about slavery in your job. Today, we're enslaved by debt. And have you ever noticed how easy it is to get into debt? Do you think that's a coincidence? Do you think that that's just by chance? Let me tell you something. People out there, the big banks and corporate America loves you to be in debt. You know who else loves you to be in debt? Your boss. Okay. Bosses love it when their employees are in debt. Do you know why? Because they have the proper motivation to work hard and to make money for the company. I suggest that you go out and you start making money for yourself. Get a side hustle going on and push it hard. Don't play with it like a hobby. If you treat it like a hobby, it's gonna pay you like a hobby, which is virtually nothing. If you get out there and you take some chances and you really push hard, yeah, things might not happen right in the beginning, but nothing worthwhile uh, is ever easy. It never comes overnight. Uh, even the overnight successes uh, that, that people think that they know about Oh, you know, Bill Gates is so lucky. You know what? He struggled just like everyone else. He just got his side hustle going at a very early age or a much more early age than most people. But he had to work at it. Okay? And so people look at, look at people like that and they go, Oh, gosh, they're so lucky. No, they're not. They work their butts off to get where they're at. You know, they were consistent. They had a plan and they were consistent with their plan, with the steps to their plan. And they did something every day towards achieving their goals. Guys, it's no different with you. Now, I know that you have a limited amount of time. That's one of the reasons why we set the things up that we did with the Elite Marketing Systems Group. You guys, let me tell you something. I, I know that my videos lately have been kind of salesy and I've been pushing this. But I'm, I'm sick and tired of, well, for me personally, I'm sick and tired of, um, of not having the level of freedom that I want. And so I'm working towards that. I'm sick and tired of, uh, you know, I was sick and tired of looking at bills going, how in the hell am I going to pay that? You know, wondering if I could, uh, you know, if I had the cash to buy a Coke if I wanted to. You know, thankfully, for the most part, those days are gone. But what is it for you? What is it that you want? And is, a, you know, are, are you interested in having your own business? If you are, 
then I'm telling you, take this step. Take a little bit of action. Investigate. Uh, we're here to help you. And, and, and th- like I said, this is my passion, is to teach people and to help people. So if you're tired of being a slave to your job and you want that freedom, then the best thing that you can do is take some action to it. And one of the things you can do is go to uh, work with Mark Randall, work with Mark Randall.com, and, uh, and that's R A N D A L L. And you can, uh, you, you know, you can sign up and you can watch our presentation and check things out from there. Now, one of the things that I always push is I always push that we're just normal people, we're average people. Uh, trying to do some probably above average things or at least different things but we're always here we're available for you you can pick up the phone and call um, you can call me anytime uh, I put my I've put my number out so many times and people have called and I do answer um, and you can do that now 254-631-9396 that is my cell phone number If I do not answer that cell phone number, leave a message. I will call you back. I will return your call. You know, leave a comment in the video. Leave a comment on our blog. Let us know what it is that you want, what your challenges are, what you need, and we will strive to help you out. But look, if you ever want to get ahead in the game, you're going to have to do something other than, most likely you're going to have to do something other than stay at your job. And believe me, you know, it's it's not as hard as you think. Making money online is easy. I say this all the time. Making money online is easy. It's not complicated. Uh, a lot of people are out there trying to trying to compl- complicate it. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos lately from some marketers that I, I just think are hilarious. And to be honest with you, it, it's just very simple. And um, so I'm, I'm fixing to create a video and put it out there uh, just to promote our our program, and um, and it's going to be a very short video. Uh, and this is this is something that you have to understand. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do all this stuff. Okay, never in the history of the world has there been a better opportunity than there is right now with the internet. So guys, don't sit around. Break those chains from your your desk, from your office, whatever. Start to figure out a way to enjoy your life. You know, like I said, 1,730 weeks out of your life. That's a lot of time, guys. That's a lot of time. What would you do with that time if you had the money uh, you didn't have to worry about the money. You, your financial issues were settled and you had all the time in the world. How would your life be different? What would it be that you would do? How would you live your life? You'd live your life the way that you wanted to rather than the way that you had to. Guys, with that said, take care. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to my rant. If you like the video, subscribe. Hit the like button. Guys, I'll see you at the top. Take care and have a great day.